From Charm City Devils here with John Allen. How you doing today, John? Doing great, man. Awesome. Your actual impression is dead on, dude. Oh, I appreciate dang. that. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, first of all, I gotta I gotta say congratulations because the, the new CD from Charm City Devils absolutely rocks, and uh, it sounds like you guys are having a great time on the tour right now. We are having a blast, man. We're about a week and a half in, and. Things are going great. We're meeting people, you know, or shaking babies and kissing hands. I mean, I mean, kissing babies, shaking hands, however that goes. But yeah, it's awesome. Now you guys come from Baltimore, yeah. and uh, we have a pretty good relationship with another Baltimore rock band known as Cinder Road. You know oh, those yeah. rock stars? I do know Cinder Road. I played uh, drums actually on about five of their tracks on the on that record. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. Yeah. Knowing that you are a drummer, because a band you know back from like 2000, 2001, uh -huh. you were also a drummer for a band called SR71. That's right. And Mikey, the uh, singer for Cinder Road, wound up being our bass player. And he joined about 2000, about 2003 is when he came on board. Yeah. So. It's a very tight knit community, you know, over there, and uh, we all know each other. We all know each other's business, <laughs> uh, you know. It gets a little hairy sometimes, but uh, yeah, you know, it, it, they're a great band, a uh, great bunch of guys. Uh, actually, our, the last guitar player for SR71 was in the band also. He did the first tour with the Cinder Road Boys. Like, they're working on a new record right now, back home. Amazing that you would know all about Cinder Road, dude. That's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, the question's got to be, how do you go from uh, being the drummer and then now to the front man? How does your, how does your stage presence change from being the drummer? You know, now you got to be up there getting all the attention from all the fans, man, keeping everybody motivated. It, it changes a great deal, you know, like from night to night, you You've got your set amount of real estate, stage real estate when you're a drummer. You don't have to worry about, you know, falling off the front of the stage, <laughs> splitting your pants, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, whatever, engaging the crowd so much and, uh, oh yeah, singing on key, that, that's another one, uh, a big one, I guess. Yeah, no, it, it's a very different thing, but I, I kind of did it in stages. This lineup with the band's only been together about two years. Initially, I started playing guitar. I was playing guitar and singing, and I was such a terrible guitar player, so I, was, I begged a friend of mine to come out. I was kind of like a drug dealer. I, I, I was like, come on out, man, we play like an ACDC song with us during our set, and he, he did that, and I was like, why don't you learn a couple of, song, a couple of our tunes, man? I'll put the guitar down. I'll, get to run around like a maniac and he did that and I was like just screw it man just learn our whole set and you <laughs> come on the road with us man so. well this has got to be a great opportunity uh, for Charm City Devils to be playing on the main stage with of course Motley Crue as a headliner for Crew Fest but you guys have a pretty great relationship with Nikki Six because if, if it's true that uh, he actually found you guys and signed you guys to, to a record deal yeah we were the first signing to uh, Nikki Six's label um, uh, 11 7 music and uh, yeah it's a huge opportunity for us I mean it's the time of our life, man. We're on the main stage. It's uh, it's just phenomenal, like seeing so many uh, happy faces out there every night. You know, uh, playing for for the crowds. Everybody's been so pumped about the shows, and just you know, after our sets, we go out, we meet people. You know, we'll usually go to like one of the merch uh, kiosks in the amphitheaters and go out, talk to people, and and uh, it's just been just been a great time. Uh, the the crew, you know, Molly crew, the the whole crew, the road crew, are everybody's the consummate professionals, and you know, we're just trying to soak it all in and learn. You know, we're we're what they call in the business, which you know, that I don't know if the public knows, but we're considered a baby band because you know we're we're out of the block. You know, it's the first okay. record and everything, but. Uh, but you know, I've I've been around a little bit, like you mentioned, my other band, and um, so it, it it's it's kind of we're we're in a weird kind of situation, I guess. We're a baby band, but we've got a little bit of experience under our belt. But then again, it's my first turn out in front singing, so it's like <laughs> it's weird, you know. But uh, but it's good. It's I'm, I'm enjoying every second. How how did Nick Nikki Six get uh, the attention? Of, or actually, how did you guys get the attention of Nikki Six to not only get his interest in the band but to sign you guys? What what would you offer any advice for uh, up and coming bands to to tackle Nikki Six in the mall or something? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, there's you know. If, if our story tells you anything, it tells you that there's no set path to get signed and to, to, uh, to get to the level where we are right now and, and hopefully beyond. Um, our story, and, and I've been signed a couple times now, our story is completely different from any of those other situations. We were getting airplay in our hometown with, uh, with a demo version of Let's Rock and Roll, a song okay. you guys are playing, and uh, we were getting a lot of airplay. And I actually just sent emails out to a bunch of industry people that I knew. Said, I, you know, I'm getting airplay. You know, I've, I've got these credits under my belt. Blah blah blah. 
I need somebody to partner up and take it to the next level. 11.7 was the first label to get back with us. So, you know, they were like, oh, we want you to come to New York, meet everybody, meet the CEO, you know, meet the meet everybody with the label. And I was like, at first I thought it was one of my friends punking me, man. I'm like, there's no way, you know, um, this is happening. But it was, it was real, you know. And uh, a week later, I'm in New York. And then, like, you know, six months later, I'm on the tour bus with, with Nikki on the first Crew Fest, just hanging out and him telling me, you know, I really like your record and, and uh, maybe next year this can be you on, on the main stage, at, or well, he didn't say main stage, but on, on, on Crew Fest too. And I was like, man, that would be awesome. And here we are. Yeah. Wow. How, how has the crowd's re response been to you guys pretty much kicking off the festivities on the main stage so far on this tour? It's been really great. I mean, you know, like even uh, the other night we were in Portland, Oregon, and it was 104 degrees. And, and there was no pit in that, uh, that particular venue also. So it was seats right up to it. And I was kind of wondering, like, how's this going to be? Because every night we were playing to about, I don't know, between 600 maybe and 1,000 people down in the pit. And... Uh, it, but it was awesome. Yeah, you know, people were, were on their feet, rocking out. The only thing I haven't had yet is any flashing of the, of the young ladies of their, their, you know, losing their tops. But it is like five o'clock in the afternoon right. when we're when we're on. So no one's really had a chance to get loose and drink a little bit, you know. So, you know, and I haven't asked for it either. So I keep <laughs> I keep forgetting, you know. I've got all these these things I have to talk about on stage, and that's the one that I keep forgetting about. Always something to look forward to, right? There is, there is. There's always something to strive for. There are always these uh, these challenges, and that's something that I hope to achieve on one of the shows on this tour. We're going to get that to happen for you tonight, my man. I think so, because I've been to this area before, and I know that this area rocks hard. <laughs> so I, I think uh, the craziness will ensue, yes. Well, John, it was a pleasure meeting you, man. Thank you for your time today. Uh, no problem. Pleasure to be here. Thank you. These guys are going to be playing main stage tonight. This is Charm City Devils. Let's rock and roll on 101.7 The Fox.